we see towns like this one every day. West is a great place to live. We have good schools. Oh, thank you. Good people. Yeah, you'd be good. And we're a very close-knit community. Hey, Heather, could you come to the front? Can nuts People are. start their day, look around. say hello to friends, hello. grab the necessities. Yeah, all kinds of groceries. I mean, we're not as big as like H-E-B. $10, thank you. But it was this store Pork salted. Thank you. that became much more than the items on the shelves. You want any crackers? A year ago, people came here. Just, I felt for those people down there. After leaving their homes. It reminded me of Iraq, you know, something that you would see in Iraq. It was like, oh my God. Down the street, what looks like an empty lot is where the West Fertilizer Company once stood. The site of a massive explosion on April 17, 2013. The blast killed 15 people, injured 200 others, and decimated much of the small town. There was so much smoke and, and darkness and the houses just looked like they were blown out. Now, a different picture. Some people say that Reagan Street was the most severely damaged, and they say they can't believe how much this area has changed. You know, everybody right now is staying busy. You know, as long as the weather permits, we're, you know, some of us are working five, six days a week. Rebuilding homes and take care of each other, their lives. I think a little hitch in the road. Okay, bye bye. Get over it and, and move on. A process that started, but is not yet finished. You never forget it now. It'll always be in the back of your mind. In West, Jess Mitchell, Time Warner Cable News.